All right, we are live. We are live. <laughs> People are in here. Let us know. Tweet us. Yeah, tweet us. We're reading away. Wait, yeah, it's still open, right? I think, unless you closed it. All right, it's good. It's good. Yeah, we're good. So we can see ourselves there. Yeah, that's good. And it doesn't have to play. It doesn't. No, yeah, for us. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, why did I do this? I don't know. It was, uh, it's a Monday night, 8.30 p.m. right now. Well, we just kind of finished, like, it's not completely done, but we kind of finished our studio. By the way, me and Pierce live together. This is Pierce Fulton, everybody. Hello. We live together, and um, once I finished, uh, you know, once, once I finished the whole Divergent Press Tour thingy, I've just been 100% in Ann Solo. That's why I haven't been tweeting that much from Ann Solo work, just because... I've been so focused on music. Uh, preview went up for my first track, Unite, which comes out on April 21st. I'm really excited about that. And something sick happened today is that yesterday at Ultra Music Festival, which is a really big freaking festival, um, Michael Brunn, who played Ultra Main Stage, played the track, Unite. So that was pretty sick. Um, I'm wondering if I'll be able to find a video of it, but if not... I can look while you're talking. Yeah, I know. Talking. Right? I knew you were Yeah. <coughs> but anyway, yeah, and Pierce also, one of his songs which actually came out today, which is called Runaway, which is a gorgeous, like, it's more pop radio, but it's not. It's still dance music, still Pierce Fulton, but it's like, it's, it has more radio appeal than Unite. That was played also at Ultra Music Festival. From um, Blau, that was awesome. So shout out to Blau. He was actually in Miami, right? Uh, yeah, I actually just got home, uh, it's Monday, uh, Saturday night, kind of late, and then <clears throat> had a little time to recover yesterday. And now we're back to work here in the back studio. Back to work in the studio. Which is nice. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we just finished the studio. So, we want to show you all the studio a little bit. Yeah. Give you a little tour. I don't know. You're we're pretty connected. In, so. Okay, I'm plugged in, but we won't, we'll be careful. We can do a little. All right. So, like, over here, this is an important part of the studio. We have the leather couch. Nice, nice. leather couch. Yeah. We have the RAM. Yeah. You guys saw the RAM, right? But now it's on the wall. And it's in a spotlight, too, which is hilarious. Yeah. And we didn't even move it to we didn't the even spotlight. Try. Yeah, there's just like, spotlights up there, it happened and, it, and the RAM ended up in the spotlight. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. So I'm having trouble like deciding which way this computer goes to make it look good. So we have that over here. Then if you turn around completely, we have the beginning of our monitors. Oops. Yep, our monitors. Mm -hmm. So that's where the music comes out of. That's my computer. Those little, that's, and that's Pierce's computer, just so you so guys aren't freaking out. A pair of speakers here, another pair of speakers there, hooked up to all our DJ stuff. Yeah, and we have our DJ stuff over there. Yeah. So that's where before a show, we'll come and do a little, whoops, Sorry. do a little like practice, practice round, and play some tunes out on the CDJs. Oh, and we have a special guest as well. Oh, yeah, we have Gal the dog here. Say He's hi. always in the studio, right, Gal? He has no clue what's going on right now. He's like tripping out. He's like, He's what is going on? But he's happy to be here. He's happy to be here. And that's our, like, wall. Lots of pictures. Yeah. Which we just did recently. Which was yeah, we've, yeah, we've been, we just moved in here, so. It was kind of bare for a while. Yeah, we live in Brooklyn. We just moved in here. The wall behind us actually isn't a wall. It's actually made out of um, <laughs> Tempur-Pedic um, box springs that I bought from Sleepy's for, like, 15 bucks each. <laughs> and we covered it with, like, a bohemian flag, I think that is. Bohemian, yeah. A Bahamian flag and a poncho. Yep. And then we have boxes up there just because we want to keep the sound in this little confined area. Because over there, behind the wall, we have a ping pong table. Mm. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. So anyway, that's a little studio tour. Let's look at some questions. Yeah. Let's look at some questions. <coughs> All right. Someone asked, when are you guys coming to Mexico? Pierce was just in Mexico. Right? Yeah, I was there uh, like around Thanksgiving time, so November. Um, I did a little Central America tour of like Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. So that was awesome. Um, but sometime we got to both go to Mexico. That'd be yeah, sick. we got to both go to Mexico. Now the Ansel is getting, really getting to start up. We'll probably, we'll probably end up playing some shows together too. Yeah. Especially once Unite comes out, um, which is my first single. Which is awesome. Thanks, yeah. Well, by the way, you guys have only heard a preview. I might play a whole freaking... We'll, I'll play it out during this live stream, the whole thing. Um, but yeah, once that comes out, I'll start playing some more shows. So hopefully I'll be playing a show at Webster Hall in New York City. I'll be playing another one at Pacha. Um, and then maybe, you know, eventually, hope my goal is like any year to be doing some touring around like other places like Mexico. and Obviously around America too. So 
It's all going to happen. Let's look at some more questions. I like this one. Describe your music taste in three words. Ooh. <clears throat> well, for me, I'd say uh, melodic, weird, and mm, groovy. All right. Those are my big three. I'm going to go with um, groovy, euphoric, and um, and uplifting. Solid ones. Yeah, those are good ones. We both have some good three words. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a nice one. By the way, we should read who did the question, too. Oh, yeah. We should read out their tag. It was, uh... Someone sent us a picture of them holding a beer can. <laughs> Drinking is bad, guys. Hey, Pierce Fulton is 21, so he can drink, but I'm only 20, so and Solo, no drinking for me. <laughs> and that is a fact. Yeah. So. I can't find that one. Let's see. Uh, say tacos if you see this tweet. That's Lauren. Lauren went. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah. Well, I saw it. I said tacos. So. Tacos. 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 <laughs> uh, so, oh, someone said they think Gal is cute. Gal, someone said you're really cute. He's just sleeping. Yeah. That's he doesn't care. Yeah, I think he's happy. I think he's probably. He really did. Happy. He did a little yeah. tail wag. Yeah. Um, also, yeah. Coming up in this live stream, we're gonna play you a track. Cause now that we live together and we freaking spend all day in the studio. We're going to play you a track that we did together, mm -hmm. which is pretty dope. Um, we don't really have a name for it yet. Yeah. Right now, we're just calling it... Um, kind of a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a joke. Right, right now, we're just calling it The Chit. C-H-I-T, because it is kind of... It's, it's, it's The Chit. And it's kind of our little inside joke. For some reason, we started saying it when we first moved in together. Yeah. So, it became a thing. The Chit. <laughs> uh... Let's see. Have you ever been to Canada? You should visit Montreal. That's from Julia I I was in Canada, not as in Solo. I was in in Canada. My first movie, Carrie, I did in Canada. I'm gonna be in Canada Friday. I mean Canada Friday. London, Ontario. Is that a club? Yeah, I'm playing Cobra in London. Sick. Yeah. So yeah, if anyone's in Canada, go check out Pierce Fulton on Friday. Should be sweet. I want to go. Hey, you should come. I should come and open for you. Yeah, you should. Be cool. I mean, I'm down. We'll have to talk about that yeah. once this live stream is over. I just booked my flights today, so... I'll I'll maybe, maybe I'll book my <laughs> flights tonight. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see. Um, someone said... Uh, this is for me. Uh, a man of... Avadika of Kadabra. Avadika of Kadabra? Harry Potter reference. Ah, uh, I was like, oh. Yeah, see, he knows. <laughs> He's more of a Harry Potter guy. I'm more of a Lord of the Rings guy. Right. Well, yeah. So we're, we're together, we make a dynamic duo. Someone said, um, how long have you been doing music? So actually, I used to um, just write music on the piano and sing and play piano. Um, that was about three years ago. And then about two years ago, I got into just producing house music. And uh, I sort of caught the bug because it went from like, now I, you know, I could play one instrument and sing. But now I can have like this program where you have a hundred channels with different things going on and you do all the percussion and all the instruments and it's, you make the instruments from scratch and, and synthesizers and it sort of it just really hit me and I was like, wow. And so, and so it was born. So I've been doing it, yeah, so about two years now. About the same time Ansel Elgort's been acting. I mean, I mean, I've been acting as Ansel Elgort professionally for about two years, but I've been acting for a long time, training. So It's kind of cool at the same time though. Yeah, it is cool. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, I think what's important and what I always say is I like, I like to think of myself as like an artist and I don't want to just be an actor or just be a musician or just be anything. I want to be like, I want to be able to do everything I, I love, you know? Um, that's not a good one. Okay. Um, asking, so what do you want people to really listen to when Unite comes out? What do I want people to really listen to? I mean, I want when Unite comes out. I want people to freaking move their bodies. I want people to dance. Jump up people, and down. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a good track because of that, um, and it's along with my friend Special Features, who I would totally be here, but he's in London. Yeah. Um, that's the beauty of the internet nowadays. I collaborated on this piece of music with this guy in London. He did the break, the break. That's like his signature sound. So he did that. And what's so cool is I used to be a big fan of his music too, like a year ago, and I never talked to him. I was a huge fan. And then I started sending him messages online. And I was like, yo, man, like, I really love your music. I want to collaborate with you. And uh, we ended up doing it. So I made all like, the, the groovy drops and stuff. Dun, 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 dun. And then he, he added the, um, the break in. But Unite comes out April the 21st. I found another good one. 
right. I'm finding all the great Pierce ones. is a good if you want to find the good ones. So yeah, if you want to, if you want us to answer your questions, I guess you have to tag Pierce in them as well. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite thing to do when you have some chill time? Oh my gosh. I guess for you it's make music. That's what's funny. Yeah, that's and true. And for me it's, I don't know, make, make music. More music. <laughs> Pierce doesn't chill. Pierce yeah. lives in the studio. Yeah. I when I'm I'm not home a lot of the time, obviously, because I'm always on like press tours, and he's on tour sometimes too. But whenever I come back, I know to come downstairs and come to the studio because that's where Pierce will be. Mm. But when I'm having a break, so you know, when I'm doing Ansel Elgort stuff, I have like almost no time. But I work on music as much as I can in my hotel rooms or wherever I am. Come back here, I just chill, make music. I play Call of Duty all day, play some <laughs> Firebird when I'm you know on the toilet, and because um, <laughs> you can't play Call of Duty from the toilet. <laughs> But you can't play I mean, you could. You could probably figure out a way. Use some mirrors or something. I don't know. Get yeah. TV. We have like a little a TV mat. back here. Yeah. yeah. That could be your bathroom TV. That would be perfect. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Well, let's play some music. Yeah. I'm going to play. I'm going to. Do you want me to play yeah, Unite? Yeah, play, play Unite. Play it from, from the beginning. Huh? Because you guys have heard the preview, which doesn't play the beginning part. You know what we'll do is we'll listen and find some more good tweets and save those too. Oh yeah, while we're listening, keep sending us questions. Multitasking. And then we'll yeah, we'll we'll find some stuff. I think this is the final, right? Yeah. Let's make some bit noise. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. So this is where that kid, Special Features, came in because he did the sick melodic break.
so there you have it. Unite, and that's going to be out April 21st. Oh, uh, 21st. Yeah, now it's the 21st. I don't know, it got pushed back a little bit. But that's it's not going to get pushed back any further. Um, and then, like, every dance music song, just so you guys know, because it's like, there's always a minute in the beginning and a minute at the end, and sort of awkward. It's just the intro and the outro, because when you're DJing, you need that extra time to mix the songs in, so it sounds like the music hasn't changed at all. Um, and then actually, speaking of mixes, when Unite does finally drop, I, I'm going to release a 45-minute um, promo mix uh, that I've already made, actually, um, that has Unite in it and a bunch of other songs. That it's all, it's a continuous mix of music. So, yeah. There you go. We'll be playing some more music later, but uh, I guess we'll go back to some questions. Pretty cool, 690 people in here right now. Solid. Pretty good. Now 700. Pretty good. Going up. There's so many questions too. It's crazy. All right, awesome. So we have mad, mad questions to. Uh, I have the a good answer. first one though. All right. Ready? Yeah. Uh, where was it? <coughs> Becca says you haven't shared your Flappy Bird scores with us for a while. So how about that? Oh yeah. What about that? This Did one's good. Very good. Yeah. What's your Flappy Bird score? Let me check. <laughs> I'm really good. Chris is so good. He's no. He's not that good. Hold on. I actually deleted it after my first time playing it. And almost didn't get it back. Yeah, I almost had. He was almost stuck with Swimmy Fish or yeah. whatever that other one is yeah, called. Droppy Splashy Fish. Droppy Bird or something. Droppy Bird. Uh, can droppy I see turd. It from the front it's thing? a turd that goes up and down. It's called Droppy Turd. So yeah, my best is eighteen. Eighteen, pretty good. I did that in the first few days of playing Pierce. <laughs> I've had this for like two weeks now too. I can't get better. You know what? I actually. Since I got 108, I like played a bunch of times, and I got to like 90 and 80, and like it's get that's when it gets frustrating because you get to 90, and I, I never understood what people said it's a frustrating game, but I was like I'm getting a 90 and it doesn't matter it doesn't mean anything so. <laughs> and you coached not me for that a while. <laughs> not that 108 means anything either not that any flag bird score means anything but still it means something in here deep down. Is 108 your top? Which side is the heart on? This one. Right hand over your heart. Oh, there you go. Deep down here. <laughs> I'm confused because I'm looking at myself in the live stream and it's like backwards. It's all right. You can just keep doing this. Just deep down here, wherever <laughs> you are, heart. <laughs> Don't think I'm stupid. Oh, all right. See. Oh, yeah, more questions. Um, where's our new table at? It's actually back there. Oh, yeah, we have a table back there. We got it last we night. It we street. found it on the street. We were walking back from dinner last night and there was a table and we were like, didn't even talk about it. We were like, Table. We picked it up and we started walking with it. Yeah. Because we've been looking for a table for a while. And we were just hanging out on the curb and so we were like, it was sitting in the rain. I don't think anyone would leave a perfectly good table in the rain. So yeah. Now it's ours. I, I'm still bouncing right now. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but it's just like something that dance music does to me. Like after listening to Unite, like I'm still, it's still in my, I'm still feeling it. I'm still moving. It's also just a good song. Thanks, dude. That means a lot. Because, oh yeah, also someone asked us when, um, how did we first meet, yeah. right? Just curious. Judge is curious. <laughs> that's from Avery. Um, uh, how did we first meet? This is that's this this thing. It's like it's a huge freaking compliment for this guy to be saying that's a good song because oh, like what a year ago he was like someone who I looked up to a lot also musically, um, and then I hit him up online. Same thing. I hit him up online. Same I same sent thing. him a remix that I did the one of the fire. Which um, is sort of crazy and out there, I guess, and a little different. So Pierce like thought it was cool, and then he was like, "Yo, I live in Brooklyn," and I was like, "Oh, word! Like, let's hang out." So then we hung out like a week later, yeah. And then we just like hit it off and became friends. We both realized that we're a little bit like nerdy and weird. Yeah. He had comics all over the wall and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm into Warhammer and stuff. So and he had, used to do Warhammer, you oh, know, yeah. the, the miniature painting thing. So we had a lot in common, and then the, musically also, I guess he, you know, he respected me a little bit. He's going to respect me more now because I've gotten a lot better. I've um, always respected you. Thanks, dude. Just because you're a good dude. Thanks. Exactly. Just because I'm means a good a lot. dude. Not that I'm goes a long way, especially yeah. with, with music. Because Pierce is kind of a freaking... He's not like a legend yet, but he's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, stop it. Like, uh, I think, what, two years ago I saw him at Izu, Electric Zoo. So, that was pretty... That's pretty crazy. I don't know if you guys have heard of Electric Zoo. It's a big music festival. And then this year I came and found you in the crowd. Yeah, this year he came and found me in the crowd while I was jumping him down, raging like a crazy person, it was covered so in funny. sweat. 
going totally Ann Solo style. They had a big like jumbotron on top and they would go around to people and I was in the front just going up and down like crazy. There's actually, if you look on YouTube of videos, people at Electric Zoo, I'm not gonna tell you what day or what video, <laughs> so you, can't you find can it. find me jumping up and down like a crazy person. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah, so that's on there somewhere. Uh, Have you ever hurt yourself while dancing to your own music? That's a pretty good question. That's a good question. I feel like you might have hurt yourself because you jump like crazy. Yeah, I go crazy. Like when you played Apache, it was like... Yeah. I've never seen anyone it's, like that. I just have a fun time. I mean, I, I sort of... I think it's like hilarious though, like the whole DJ thing, like the... <coughs> <laughs> so I like, I do it like crazy. When I play Apache, I played like an idiot. So I probably like threw my neck Not like an idiot. Bit. It's just you have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's fun. You've probably hurt yourself but don't remember or something. I, I definitely stubbed a few toes. Yeah. All right. I don't think I've ever heard. What's going on? What else we got here? Um, Someone took a selfie with us. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, oh, uh, Lady of Aries, I had a good one, too. Oh, word. Let's answer her questions. Uh, who's been your biggest influence for you, both of you, in your music career? Oh, word. You can go first. Yeah, I mean, it's been changing, like... Uh, because there's, you know, there's musicians who, um, who like I look up to and I listen to all the time. Like Matt Zoe is a guy who like, I have his album on my iPod and I listen to it all the time just because I love the music. And then there's people who like, if like recently I've really gotten to this funky groovy style, like the, what Unite kind of sounds like. And I've been listening to a lot of like Tom Starr and Kreider, which, which is why this is so crazy, which is why I signed to Tom Starr's label which is a kind of a small label is because Tom Starr is like my, one of my biggest influences. And I sent um, him the song or one of his friends, the song actually, who's a, another big DJ Kreider and Kreider got back to me. I sent him just promo email. You know, I didn't use like Ansel or Twitter and like blow him up and tell you guys to like, Oh yo, go hit up Kreider and tell him, to listen, he just like, I just sent him an email and he listened and he, um, you know, me being Ann Solo, no clue, you know, that I had like a fan following, no clue that I was an, an actor also. And, and he, um, he, he sent me, um, he sent me back an email being like, yo, my friend Tom Starr, who I definitely knew, has a label and wants to sign this. Um, and that was crazy for me because Tom Starr and Crowder are like two of my biggest inspirations and uh, influences. Yeah, that was cool. So cool. I mean, I would think that's cool. That's what's awesome. And Pierce was like, dude, definitely sign with them. Because there was another label that was also like, you know, interested in signing it and stuff. Can I say one thing too? Yeah. And what is the best part of it is when I, I introduce him to new producer friends of mine and they're like oh so what do you do and he's like oh, i write music and they're always just like okay whatever and they're like so what do you got coming up and he's like oh well i have a release on tom Starr's label and they're like oh okay and they're like instantly more interested which i think is an awesome look he's like so, yeah he's like cool and respected inside yeah. the industry i know that probably none of you guys have heard of him i mean probably now yeah i've like talked about him a little bit but he's like pretty small like you know on facebook he has like eighty thousand likes or something like not that many he's not like a big like DJ star. He's like, got tons of respect from tons of respect. Every DJ, every yeah, DJ plays like his music. Sweet House Mafia guys all play his music. Yeah. Everyone plays his music because he's sick. Yeah. So yeah, that was really cool. Questions? Let's see. Um, top five songs, favorite song as a child. Someone asked what was the most difficult part about creating Unite. One of the hardest parts when you're making dance music is um, is like the mix and like making it all like sit really well together and like there's so many elements going on because it's like crazy and electronic and stuff and also you want it to sound good and a hard part was that but also like it's like you want to make music that does, that sounds like you know in it, it sounds like the genre and you'll have people play it because they it's not too out there but you also don't want it to sound like everything else so it's kind of hard making sure that like it used to unite unite has changed a lot from what it used I was to about be. To say that, yeah. It used to be a song that like had these big horns, it was like womp 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 womp. Oh my god! Yeah. And we did that at your place when before we lived together. Yeah, that was so yeah. Funny. You helped me out a little bit with it. I didn't realize it was that. That was the, yeah. That's changed unite, a lot. So it's like changed a bit, but not such that much. a crazy song. So like you end up using a tiny bit of something from like the old version, but like you know you keep changing it because you don't want it to sound like everything else. So you don't want people to be like, oh, another cheesy dance track. Um, so the hardest part is, yeah, it's making something that stands out and sounds different, um, especially for the first one, because you want, you want something, you want to make, make a name for yourself and like set a, set a uh, precedent for what, what your sound's going to be and that the music you make is going to be original and cool. And that's why, listen, I'm a, I know you guys like the Lana Del Rey remix a lot, but like eventually, I don't know how long it's going to be, and I know you guys are probably really pissed off, 
I'm going to probably take it down from my SoundCloud just because it sounds like a lot of other people. Like it sounds like a, like a little bit radio. It doesn't sound that unique. Whereas like Unite sounds really unique, which is cool. And honestly, I've done the same thing. A lot of my old stuff doesn't exist anymore. Because yeah, because you develop as an artist. Yeah. And once you, I think once you really nail your sound, you are so proud of it that you will never want to get rid of it. So uh, I think it's important to like be able to let go to a certain part of, of your career. So, I mean, obviously a lot of people do like it, but if it doesn't really represent what you're, what you are now and where you're going, then, I mean, people have heard it, so yeah, that. that's true. And you guys have already downloaded it, so you have it on your iPods, yeah. right? It's probably all over YouTube and stuff. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So let's play the song that Pierce and I um, are working on right now that yeah. no one's heard. Nobody. So this is an exclusive. This is an Anne Solo live stream exclusive. This is the chit. As it's called right now, it's called yeah. shit. Probably gonna change later. Yeah. Oh, that's a different song. What um, do you want to like go a little before or fuck yeah. it? Yeah. We can just go into the build. So that's good. play you'll hear it soon enough actually this friday on a special oh yeah it's gonna be the yeah first, that's gonna be the first okay cool play. sound yeah soon. you'll have some more soon. soon all right anyway um let's talk a little bit yeah about how that all came together yeah um well, i was still living in my old place and you i think we'd already hung out a few times um and that was the same day we went to guitar center and got these monitors oh yeah because that was the first time we used them so I think we were like, it was when I was living in my old place in Brooklyn before we moved in and uh, I had like an idea that I was working on and I mean, I've come to learn this now, Ansel's kind of the king of like hearing something and if he's like really into it, he will just like no questions asked, sit down and start working on it, which is kind of awesome. I mean, I can't really do that because it'll take me a bit more motivation, a bit more time, but he can like sit down and just I don't be like, give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that it was going to be a collaboration or anything, but he I was just, just like, like sitting and he's like, I want to play with it. And I was, I was like, like okay. dude, can you give me like half an hour with this, please? And it was his first time these... using logic and stuff. Like, yeah. you use Ableton. And... I was so confused, but it made it work. I basically wrote more chords because there are these chords that go. Um, should, we, should we play them in chords? I mean, we can play a few of them. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. So there's. Go for a little more to the dun 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 dun. Yeah, let's go to the down, down, down. Take it further? Yeah. So it's down, 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 down. And that's what Pierce had done. And I was like, hold on, hold on. I hear something in my head. I want, I, let me just have this. And we... Made, and I took it from dun 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 and I went dun 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 Okay, we let's now let's play the whole progression so they understand it. Okay. I think it went further, so hold on. Yeah. Take it back. 
Pero Carlos Rivera. Ah. <risa> So that was like there was these chords, and then and then I made them basically twice as long, yeah. and I added on these other chords, which made it like a like just you know I heard it, he heard it, and then we did that, and then basically kind of sat for a bit. Months passed. We moved in together. We spent mad time moving in. It's, moving in apartments really hard, by the way, guys. Yeah, I never did it before. He did it once before, but I never did it, and it was terrible. It was rough. Um, so we didn't have much time, but then. Like, I'd say, like, about a month ago, again, then we sat down with it for a what few days. What was cool is, is it, like, for a while, it, we both kind of were like, is this going to end up being finished? Because it was still in that weird phase where it wasn't, um, like, it had, like, melodic drops, and it wasn't that amazing. And, uh, like, the melodies were good, but it just didn't sound good as the main drop. And uh, it, like, sat around for a while, like, two months, when we were just kind of like, oh, maybe we'll get to it one day. And then yeah. we sat down and did the dun 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 down here. Yeah, and then I, I think I sent the stems to you when you were filming. When I was filming Men, Women, and Children, yeah. he sent me all the stems, which is like you bounce like audio. So there's like you know, I think it's still the folder. So like many stems, hundred channels, and then I basically like arranged it into a full song. Yeah, and I added a lot of stuff to make the second drop really big, which you guys didn't hear, but it's freaking awesome and huge. And then what was cool is you bounced the stems back out, gave them to me, and then we mixed it and mastered it and played it at my lava show that he was at. That was awesome. Yeah. So, so it was, it sounded it was really cool big. to like play it for the first time when we were both together. I mean, yeah. I could have played it at a different random show and he wouldn't have heard it, but I think it was cool that yeah. it happened to be the one show he was at in the past month. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. It's a cool song. It's it a cool, cool. Little story. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, and we have, we have other collaborations, too, that we've been working on, but we're not going to play them now. We'll do another time. Um, let's... Uh, Get some more questions. I want to... Yeah, but I, I want to show you guys the... Um, we, I want to show you the ping pong table. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. I just want to show it to, to you. You'll just have to bring this along. Yeah, I'll bring the mic along. Oh, oh sorry. I was going to die. Yeah, we suck. <laughs> no, we have power. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This is kind of weird, but fuck. Sorry. Screw it. I'm going <laughs> to show you the, the ping pong table. Go ahead. The gal's coming. Hey, we got a ping pong table in the house. How Perfect. sweet is that? Yeah. How sweet is that? It just so, barely fits. It just barely fits, yeah. And that, that there's like some artwork back there on the other side of the Tempur-Pedic mattresses to make it look less ghetto. <laughs> Let's play. Good. Just so you know, Hansel's a lot better than me. We kind of have to like play like, ah, oh, ooh. I got a first point. Oops. <laughs> I got that one even though he tried to cheat me. I'm cheating again. This is the only way I can win. <laughs> So this is this is a very appropriate part of the live stream, just because this this is what we do in the studio. We produce some music and then we come play some ping pong. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Pierce oh. got it for me for my birthday. We got it off Craigslist and we went to the Bronx to the storage unit and we got it and it was like it was two hundred dollars, which is pretty good for this table. But then we couldn't get it home, so we had to rent a U-Haul, and Pierce drove a U-Haul truck <laughs> on, the highway. on the highway, and it was pretty sketchy and scary. But it was yeah. an adventure, and I did it, we did it on my birthday. So we were driving a truck around on my birthday. This is the mic we're using, by the way. Ooh, I just got really close to it. Um, but yeah, this is the mic we're using, by the way, because it makes everything sound better. Because all my other live streams I've done with just um, my computer speakers, yeah. but then Pierce was like, we should do it with a good mic. This is where we record like vocal samples and stuff, and we'll them, little guys. hopefully Ansel Elgort will sing on it. On um, it'll be an Ann solo featuring Ansel Elgort. That'll be it. All right, so um, let's let's uh, also I want you guys to hear this new track that Pierce did um, because it comes out today. It came out today. And I think you guys will really like it, because especially because you like the Lana Del Rey one. It's progressive house. And it's gorgeous. It has a, a brand new original vocal on it. It's called Runaway. Um, it's so beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Uh, and it's out today. I'm going to go buy it on Beatport. 
right now as he's playing it for you guys because I actually haven't bought it yet and I support my friend. Let me get the radio. But yeah, play it. Play it out. Um, it'll be on the radio soon. You guys will probably hear it a bunch. But, you know, fresh. You gotta, you gotta get fresh off, fresh off the griddle. No one's heard the radio, Eddie. Nice. If nothing is how it used to be Then I don't want to be, want to be here Inside the eye of hurricanes Where we are enemies Take me back to where we're from The place where you and I began <laughs> Give me oh, man. back my faith in us My faith in what I meant that this is his song he made it he produced it he wrote the vocal everything I just tweeted the link of where you can buy it. I'm going to buy it right now. Just because, <laughs> you know, um, we, I think it's like one of the one of the best songs I've heard in a long time and uh, deserves to deserves to be bought. <laughs> Ansel's too nice to me. Yeah. And hopefully, I mean, I'm also doing this so that way when Unite comes out, he tells everyone to buy that. Yeah. Basically. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't actually like it at all. <laughs> um, I'm trying to tweet right now. B E A U T I F U L. That's how you spell beautiful, right? That's how I still spell beautiful. B E A U T I F U L. I do it too. <laughs> uh. So yeah, what's up now? Yeah, it's like some new tweets. We've been we've been in the live stream for like forty five minutes now. I think it's only fair that we do an hour, right? So let's uh, go play some cards. Yeah, and then we're going to play some Call of Duty. Yeah. Maybe that's the other thing we do. New stuff. All we do is make music, play ping pong, play Call of Duty, and eat cereal. All yeah. Day. Honey, we have Honey Smacks. We have Lucky, we have Charms. Lucky Charms. We have Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. And Multigrain Cheerios, because I love those. I don't eat those. That sounds yeah, yucky to me. But um, Didn't you get regular Cheerios? I got regular Cheerios. Those are good, too. Those are good. Yeah. That's, as, that's as healthy as I'm going to do. No, no, they're Honey Nut Cheerios. 
Honey nut Cheerios aren't healthy. They're health. They're healthier than fruity pebbles. Oh yeah, yeah, for of sure. Yeah, yeah. For but sure. But Cheerios are where it's at. If you want, yeah. you want to go straight health and. Oh, by the way, let me play like. I'm gonna play you thirty seconds. No, a minute of a new Anne solo track that no one's ever heard before. It's sort of where I'm going. Did you actually unplug it? What's that? Did you actually unplug that? Right? Unplug what? The mic. Is it not plugged in? Go back to the stream real quick. It is plugged in. Okay, you're good. Yeah. My bad. Pierce thought that we didn't have the sound working. I thought that would be really terrible. It. Imagine. And we were <laughs> just sitting time. here in sound. <laughs> just like, God, like I'd be like, there are 735 <laughs> people in here who are just sitting here listening to sounds. That's pretty dedicated. <laughs> that's dedication. Those are real fans. Um. Yeah. Let me send this little link to Pierce so that he can play it out. Why should I play oh yeah. Sky bits me. Who cares? Which one? Totem. Yeah. Play it. Hey, why not? Why not? A little preview. A little preview. I'm saying because Pierce is, has his computers connected to the to the monitors to the big speaker thing. He's. Mm -hmm. It has like the jungle vibe. More of the funky music. No. Yeah. That's a brand new and solo track that I've been working on since I finished the Diversion Press Tour. I was like, I gotta work on some new music. And uh, yeah, I'm going with a really like groovy, chill vibe for like a few songs. And then I have some songs that sound like kind of like Runaway also, because that'll have some more radio appeal. Yeah, you need um, to finish a bunch of those. I know, I do. But, I've, I, but I'm like just feeling the groovy vibe right now. When you're writing music, you just sort of have to feel the vibe, whatever you're feeling. You know what I mean? So if you're feeling like the more like, progressive euphoric radio vibe you go with that if you're feeling like the, the, the groovy club vibe you go with that whatever you're feeling because you can't force yourself to write anything you know especially because music's my passion project i'm not gonna freaking like push myself to write music i don't want to write all right so uh michael brun wants to tune in oh yeah michael <laughs> brun wants to come in and say hi shout out to michael brun yeah he's the one that played yeah michael brun's the one who played unite at ultra so huge shout out to michael brun yeah. by the way He's the homie. He is the homie, yes. But he, you know, even though he's a homie, he didn't have to play United at Ultra. But he did. Is, but he did. That's pretty sick. So he's like an Ultra homie. Yeah, he's, Get he's it? oh my God. That was the worst <laughs> joke I've ever heard. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone play Call of Duty? I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about Call of Duty. It's so bad. I need to stop. So when we moved in together, Pierce was like, um, Pierce was like, uh, you... Um, you have to like play video games, whatever. I play video games. I was like, dude, video games are so stupid. He was They're so against a waste of so time. Long. You don't play video games. I don't even play that much. So that's the funniest part. Like, the I think is I, I play all the time. It's pretty <laughs> bad. It comes home and I'm just like, what's up, dude? And like, I'm in the middle of a game. I can't talk. Like, you know, um, because I never was allowed to play video games growing up in my house. My mom and dad were always like, work, like, you know, work on your acting, work on your music, do this, like, you know, stay focused. And I wasn't allowed to play video games. So now that I live on my own, I play all the video games I want. <laughs> Take that, mom and dad. Aha. <laughs> you play, play more than enough video games, which is... Yeah. But you're, you're allowed to. You're allowed I'm allowed to. to. You know, I work hard. I was on that press tour of Divergent, and I was filming that movie in Texas, and I wasn't allowed to play video games there because I had to work. And now I'm here, and I'm working, and I'm, and I, you know. Press tour for Fault in Our Stars starts in, like, less than a month now. No, a month, exactly, I think. So I have about a month left of just, like, playing video games and making music and, like, chilling and... Maybe we'll do a live stream every once in a while. Maybe, should we do once a week, once a month? I don't know. And then, uh, yeah. 
So, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm sorry if I keep cracking up. It's just that some of these tweets are so funny. Yeah, you guys... There are all these, like, funny little dude, screen dude. captions and stuff. If you're not playing Call of Duty, what is the second game of choice? Um, NBA 2K13. Which he's also really good at. Yeah. I'm good at it. I'm pretty good at it. Um, I play a lot of J.R. Smith. When I play as the Knicks, I play as J.R. Smith the whole time because he's so good and bad. He just video screams. Games. He screams, like, like, at the top of his lungs. If I hit scores. a shot, I'm like, ow! <laughs> what up? And then Gallo wakes up and starts barking. Yeah. <laughs> Gallo was barking the other day. We went out to the market. Oh, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, we went to the market, and Gallo was barking for, like, two hours straight. <laughs> and we came home, and, like, two neighbors had left notes on our door being like, your dog was barking the whole time. You have to resolve this, this situation, all this stuff. We're going to call the cops. And so what we did, which was pretty dick but, like, kind of funny, <laughs> was we just left the notes on our door so that our neighbors had to see them all the time and realized <laughs> that they totally overreacted just because our dog was barking. It's like, come on, chill out. Like, I'm I'm so cute. he's so cute. Like, how do you, like, get mad at, like, little Galushka? You know what I mean? Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> Look at him. He has all this extra skin on his head. He's so cute. He is a little flopper. Yes. Hey, buddy. It's, we have a chill place around here. I'm so glad, you know, we got to chill out with Gallo and Pierce, play Call of Duty, make music. It's pretty, pretty darn good. Ping pong and cereal. Yeah, and you get to, you've seen this new studio. It was really dope. It took a while, actually. It, took it was a long kind time. of depressing down here for a long it was time. Kind of, it, was, it was more than kind of depressing. Yeah, it was, it like, was like white walls, no pictures. An empty room with a desk and monitors. And it sounded awful because everyone knows if you put like a lot of noise into an empty room, it sounds like an e echo box. Yeah. So that wasn't good. Um, wow. That is hilarious. <laughs> you should retweet that. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. Someone said thank you. No, someone's truthfully, truthfully Kate just posted the most ridiculous edit of Pierce. Because of my beard. Oh, it's the dude from Hunger Games, I think, with the crazy beard. If only I had a beard. Yes, crazy. Pierce has a beard, guys. <laughs> and I do not have a beard because... It's a new addition. I am prepubescent. <laughs> I'm taller than Pierce, so yeah. take that. Yeah. But in, in the lack of I'll height, more Pierce has a lot more manliness in his facial hair and stuff. Yeah. But no, he's not like 40. He's actually <laughs> only a year older than me, even though he looks like he's like 10 years older than me. Because, I mean, I just look like I could be like 16. <laughs> No so facial hair. like 6'4", so that doesn't really work. No facial hair. Yeah. <laughs> Someone keeps asking if we ever heard ourselves dancing. I don't think so. I don't yeah. think a lot of people heard we're themselves. We're not Unless old. something falls on you or something. Yeah, we're not like 80. I don't know, like Throw pull our head. backs out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need like, you know, like, geez. Who's taller? What do you think? Do you think Pierce is six, like five? I mean, look at us just sitting. Just sitting. Yeah, it looks but like I mean, I'm closer to the thing. Yeah, I mean, now we'll, you'll see who's taller. Yeah. Imagine if I just did the whole live stream like this because I was so tall. <laughs> it's like a cartoon. It's like a Dr. Seuss character. The no, whole movie. Like back here. You don't see him because he's so tall. <laughs> How would you feel? Would I wonder if we're going to lose viewers because I'm just like, I'm not showing my face for the rest of the live stream yet. <laughs> now they're going to have to deal with my beard. Yep, now you just have to look at Pierce's beard. Oh, man. Yeah. And maybe only my bottom lip. Maybe we'll just switch to Gallo and we'll go. be happier. <laughs> only my bottom lip. I don't know. <laughs> We're just acting like idiots. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Um, oh, someone's asking for our gamer tag on Call of Duty, I think, because they want to play oh, with us. Oh, God. No, you can't have our gamer tag. That would be scary. You know why? Just because it's kind of embarrassing. To be honest, like, I have a good game every once in a while. Like, sometimes I'll have, like, I had, like, a 16-2 and two game, which was awesome. Um... But then I'll have a really bad one. I don't want you guys to see my kill to death ratio because you'll make fun of me. Sorry. It's also my gamer tag. So also, I don't just want to get destroyed with people trying to be friends with you on Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden it's like, play with me, play with me, play with me. And I'm sitting there like trying to watch Netflix like, ah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we should wrap up this live stream thingy. Um, yeah, we covered a lot. We covered a lot of stuff. Uh, anything we didn't cover? I mean... You know, this is a new thing that we're going to do. Uh, maybe we'll DJ sometimes. Yeah, maybe we can do a little DJ set. Because we have a cool setup here. Yeah, we have a cool setup. Uh, you know, we can... I'll do another one when Unite comes out on the 21st. Um, I'll actually probably go into the track and show you guys a little bit so you understand, like, what the hell Ant Solo is doing when you're making all this music. Um, and you guys should try it, too. You know, like, that's the beauty of producing nowadays is that you actually, like... Any kid with a laptop can make a song. I mean, that's how we started. That's how we well, started. Was, yeah. It's just experimenting, having fun. It's like you, you get these programs, you, you get some virtual synths, um, you watch YouTube tutorials, you hit up other people, um, you know, you hit up Ansel Music on SoundCloud and say, hey man, how do you think this sounds? 
And those kind of people, and they give you feedback. It's a cool community, yeah. uh, music community. And everyone can try it. You guys should try it. Uh, it's really, it's hard, but it's not that hard. I mean, if, if you already write music, uh, you understand how to write music, then... But you don't even have to. That's what's crazy. I mean, I've plenty I of friends that write music that just have a good ear, and they, they never had any classical training or any... Yeah, I know. I didn't mean, like, classical. But, like, if you, even if you have just, just tune, tunes in your head. Yeah. You know, if you're, like, tone deaf and you've never heard a tune in your life, then maybe don't try it, but otherwise... <laughs> well, they can still try it. Yeah. Have fun. No, don't try it. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, and um, once United comes out, we're playing a bunch of shows around New York. Uh, I have a plan, I think. Um, I think Diversion is shooting in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Insurgent is. I'll be playing shows there while I'm shooting there. Um, yeah, possibly during the Fault in Our Stars press tour, <coughs> I might be playing shows in whatever city I go to, just because it makes sense, because it's like a free tour. And you're not doing stuff at night, right? Yeah, exactly. So I'll have nights off. I'll go play a show, maybe. That'd be a great way to start it up. And by that time, Unite will be out, and I'll have probably other other music coming on the way. Um, But yeah. Uh, I am glad you guys all tuned in. We'll do more of these. Um, Again, uh, Pierce's EP came out today. His song came out today, Runaway. And another one, too, which you can hear if you check him out on his SoundCloud. Um, it's called Old Man in the Sea, which is really dope. But I think you guys will like Runaway a lot. Um, you know, if you can, support it. Get it on Beatport. And it takes, you have to make an account and stuff and put in a little credit card number. But uh, It's just like iTunes. I mean. Yeah, it's like iTunes. But uh, it's for dance music. And Unite will come out on Beatport too, so that way you get your account ready. Because you're going to buy Unite on Beatport, right? <laughs> you're not going to pirate it. Although, you know, if you want to pirate it, it's okay. I understand. I pirate a lot of music. Actually, please don't. Come on, support us. Don't be mean. I'm talking to myself right now. I'm talking to a camera. Yeah. It's kind of weird, guys, talking to a camera for like two hours, an hour. It's Luckily, weird. I have Pierce here with me. Yeah. Usually when I do my own live streams, I get really kooky because I'm like talking to myself. For like, I'm, like, I'm like the sidekick. Yeah, Pierce, Pierce is like, just... yeah, next time he'll be the bigger person in the camera. He'll be here and I'll be like back here. Yeah. We'll do it that way next time. Sorry, I just covered his face. <laughs> Sorry, Pierce. Sorry. All right, guys, we're going to go make some more music, play some Call of Duty. I'm gonna, eat, I'm gonna eat some Cadbury eggs. I still have some more. I've been like craving one the whole time. I should have ate one on the live stream. That would have been epic. <laughs> you have like 20 weeks. I should get a sponsorship from Cadbury Egg. I really should. Right? Don't you think so? Yeah. I mean, and cookie you cake. have them all the time. should just get a whole sponsorship. Should you, why don't you make a Cadbury Egg cookie cake? Um, like, pop them in there. That is a sick idea. There you go. You can do that right now. All right, guys. I will see you later. Sponsorship. Why don't you make a Cadbury egg cookie cake?